Greetings, boys and girls. It is I, Kralian. Ah, ah, ah. And today on Two Guys, a controller and a game store, we shall be trying out Resident Evil Revelations on the PlayStation 4. Are you ready to be scared out of your pants? Because I am. So let us see what this game has in store. And you can play this either normally or with VR. Let's go! And now, boys and girls, let us get ready to delve into the world of Resident Evil Revelation 2. <laughs> Alright guys, Krillin right here. Now I'm using my normal voice so that I don't have to, you know, um, <clears throat> do the horror voice a bit too much. But yeah, it's great to be back after being missing for about, what, two, three weeks, dude? Somewhere about there. Bio terror. The world lives with it. You live with it. Viruses are stolen, re-engineered, misused with tragic results. And who are you supposed to trust? Politicians who sell their souls for a few votes. CEOs who betray consumers for a quick buck. Count on us instead. We're above the politics. Always watching. Always ready to face the threat head on. We are the unflinching mob that sops up the evils of bioterrorism and chemical warfare. They call us. What? Terror saves. Because terror doesn't have to end with a risk. Wow. That was actually good. Hey guys. I feel. Oh, hi, Claire. Claire, all right. Claire Redfield. Oh. Moira. Welcome to the club. So I never played this Resident Evil before, so let's see how the game measures up to the rest of it. When did the hazing start? <laughs> Cut it out. We've been friends for how long? Long enough that I'm allowed to give you shit. Claire. Could you uh What's up, Neil? Something's going down in Washington. Did you hear anything? What? The new virus? Come on. You know Tricel's hmm. history. Right? Hello? Let's see you know what's going on right now. Hey, the Barry Burns girl? Oh, Barry's in yeah. this game. Moira started today. Okay, so that's Barry's you daughter. You gotta be careful if you're gonna mention her. Her dad? Oh yeah. Emotional minefield. Oh, uh, okay. yes. You did your homework. What are the horrible invasions? So I don't remember how there? this happens chronologically, but I think we have our enemies. Anyway, when Resident Evil 3 happened, her. Barry was here. She's not a horse. So that's why Barry wasn't I... there to save Jill. I'm not sure actually because the oh, timeline's a bit confusing. Fucking Barry. Every oh, time really? And this is where the zombies come in, but yeah. But yeah, I think this is why Barry wasn't uh, was absent in Resident Evil 3. Because if you remember the original Resident Evil 3 in PlayStation 1, there were two endings. One was the ending where Carlos actually flew away with Jill in the helicopter, or the other one, Barry came down to rescue them. But the Barry ending was not was not canon, so I guess this is why. Because if I remember correctly, after the events of the Spencer Mansion in Resident Evil 1, Barry kind of freaked a bit. And from the looks of it, this is definitely... I don't know, a bit after RE2, I guess? The only thing I'm not sure of, because it's been a while, I'm not sure whether this is before or after Code Veronica. 
Could be wrong. Someone correct me in the chat section when the video goes up. Loading. Watch as the circle spins and spins and spins until you get dizzy. Okay, so let's see. Start playing. Why did it open? I didn't do anything. Okay. Control oh, seems to be similar to to all RE games. Should really get this for the PC. Where's the run button? Oh, she can't run yet. Oh, there it is. Alright. Okay, <clears throat> someone's in trouble. Okay. So she has a magic magic bracelet. Right, so let's continue now that we freed um Claire's girlfriend from the cell. Uh, let's see what this magic bra bracelet does. Can I open this door? No? Okay, never mind. Let's go through here. Ooh, fancy. Okay, that's... This is so messed up. What do you think this place was? This is not disturbing at all. You serious? Don't do that to me, man. Okay, Claire, can you jump? Okay. Graphics in the game look really good even though this game was released back in 2015. So I guess this is using an older version of the RE engine that you the, well the new one you get to see it in the Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes. Those two games I love and I finished them already. Wait, wait, wait what happened? Who's screaming? Why are you screaming? Um, not anymore. Ew. Yeah, I just had to open the door. Oh my God. I mean, what the fuck? um, I uh, I don't know why this place kind of like has a Silent Hill vibe to it. I think there's a way through on the other side of the glass. Okay, now we just need to break the glass. Do you have a gun? Or a crowbar, hammer, anything at all to smash to the glass? Um, wait a minute, let me try this way. Ah, yes, finally something. This is coming handy. Guess I'm on my duty. R2. Ah, okay. Let's try breaking the glass with this knife. Is there anything else I can pick up in the meantime? Anything? No, 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 nope. Hmm. Okay. Anything else here? Okay. Dispose. Subjects. Okay. <coughs> 
yeah this place definitely giving me silent hill vibes with a lot of the the rust colors let's check out what's behind creepy door number two hello zombie you can squeeze under this Give me a hand, Moira. Yeah, Moira, let's squeeze under this. Go! L3, that's this one. Yes. Right. Careful. Stand back. Okay. Come on, move it, Claire. Come on, move it. Yo, what the flaming? Ah! Die, 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 die. Ah, die, 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 die. You ugly son of a cheesecake. Okay. Come on. Ah, thank you for the light. Let's go save whoever that is that's screaming. If we come back here, oi! Come on, hurry. Where? Oh no. Oh look, plants. Huh? Huh. Oh, fancy. Yeah, I'm not going to use that one yet. <laughs> First, we need to save that screaming girl. Yeah, man. Horror games are my thing. Horror, action games, stuff like that. Rawr. Oh, uh, some frame drops though just now. Oh no, she's a zombie now. Wait, she's not a zombie. Okay, this creepy door number three. We need to find a way through. Okay, that's blocked. Okay. Who is that? Huh? What kind of job would... uh, this is not okay. Ah, key. This is definitely some kind of like saw thing going on, man. No? Okay, music's getting creepy. So I think this is where I really meet first resistance zombie. I can't use words right now. Blood stains on the ground, that's ominous. Just in case. Ah. Uh, uh, top secret facility. Dealing with zombies, cleaning up would be moot. Okay, let's see what's behind. Okay. No. Ah yes, this leads to the dude downstairs with the key. Alright, we made it. Key's over there. There is gonna be a zombie fight somewhere here. Or this guy's gonna wake up and try to eat me. The key's gone. 
A gun? Do you, uh, are you gonna use that? It's more reliable than in person. If you say so. The key must have shook uh. loose when the body fell. It could be anywhere. It's too dark to see. Shine uh. the light around. Switch characters. Now I'm controlling the weaker girl with the flashlight. How do I turn on your flashlight? Ah, there you are. Oh, come on. Where's the key? Oh, great flashlight ran out of... Think it might have snagged on something on the way down? Uh, wait, I see something. Nope. So the dude fell down here. Wait, was that? Was that all that key? No, that's not a key. Okay, okay, you're hinting something. Okay, I get it. Hang on. Uh, the dude was hanging there. Dude was okay. Hang on. Claire, there it is. The key. Found it. It's out of reach. Let me try shooting it down. Mm. Yes. Yo, what the hell? Ow. Okay. Okay, so so far we got two zombies that came in and where's the girl? Uh, did she just run up without me? How could you leave me down here? But yeah, any other supplies I can get down here? No? Nine? 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 Okay, then I just have to join the girl upstairs. Or open this door? Okay, no, never mind. Okay. Two zombies so far. Claire looks like she's injured because the screen is red. Let me take the herb. Let's double back and try the key. Yes. Oh. No, where was that locked door just now? Ew. Okay, I'm um, here, yes. Ugh. Black pink, uh, black pink in your area. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, yeah, let's go here. No, oh, yes. Uh, what? Use the what? Yeah. What the hell? You just tried to jump kick me. What the die? Ow. Okay, he's dead. I think this place is some kind of asylum. Uh. Oh, now you give me light. Thank you. What's what's her face's name? Okay, anything in here? Nope. Was hoping to find more herbs. Or so. Oh shit! Ow! I do, I do. 
Ow, 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 ow. Ah! Get off me. Uh, I don't have herbs. This, this other chick has it, not me. Okay, hang on. Uh, confirm. Use. Pass to Claire, I guess. I don't see it anymore. No, what have I done? Is it on the floor? Um, no. Okay. Uh, just find that locked door. Oh man. Where is Chris when you need him? The older brother, Chris Redfield, not Chris Biggie. Oh, but Chris Biggie will do as well. Can I just back in? Go ahead. Oh, shotgun. Nice. Okay. 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 Hey. Um, LOR1 Okay Okay Confirm Oh, you can't give it to her. I think Claire's the only one that can use weapons The girl's supposed to be support or something, I think Really? You need a gun too, Moira Oh, now you need a gun. Okay, how do I give it to you? I really, really don't Sorry, I don't do firearms. Not after what happened. Okay. Shit. I'm sorry. I forgot. So yeah, Maybe she can't use guns. No, I'll just be on flashlight duty or something. Surely, you're Barry's doctor and you hate guns. Why? Why am I being forced to? Oh, what is this? Okay, handgun ammo. Blunt weapon. I can do blunt weapons. Okay. Yes. Uh, shiny. It's not the button. Oh, there you go. Topaz. Break it! Yes! Oh, so now the game forces you to use the other person. Claire? You saw that, right? No, you mean the one yeah. person in the rope running to the other side of the room? No. It will be messed up if they were lifting the shutter, the zombie attacked them. Okay. Really, really nice lighting effects. Look at that. And this game was made in 2015. I think you get to control Barry in this game as well. What? Who the fuck is quoting poetry? Are you afraid? You can tell me. Talk to me. What are you talking about? Those bracelets change color in response to fear. And who exactly are you? So much suffering. You don't even know what to be afraid of yet. Is she talking to us or at us? Both? I put the fire breathing bust in front of the exit. The flames or these things are no joy by yourself. Thou shall not pass. Gandalf. Yep, something Gandalf said. This looks like a way out. Oh, fucking technology. You have a mouth on you, you know that? Uh, ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. This thing is gonna hurt if it starts moving. Uh, 
no zombies here. I see the cog that I need. But first, I need to read this book. It would be useless to give him that information. His experience, he experiences it on his own body. And let me guess, this door is locked. No, it's not. Uh, that looks comfy. Yeah, let's take one home. I need Look that this machine. thing. There's something stuck in it. Uh, see if that actually works. No, I think I have to switch to this chick. Maybe she can get it. Okay. Is that someone's hand? That's a body down there. Yeah. Okay. It's Try. not working. No power. Of course, there's no power. The power must be off. Maybe there's a switch. Tourniquet stops bleeding. Can be used even when held by your partner. Okay. Upgrade. Is there anything to upgrade yet? Oh, nothing yet. Still too new in the game. Okay, let's try upgrading now. Damage level one. <clears throat> well, she is Claire Redfield. Okay. Moira, I'll give you a boost. See if you can climb up. Okay. Yes, Moira, climb. Um, Claire, where are you? Wait, is there something here? Ah, okay, never mind. Okay. Boost me, Claire, boost me! Claire? Okay, I'll control Claire now. Where? Okay. This just to turn power back to that torture chamber thing. Ah, Resident Evil. Maybe once we're outside, we can find someone to help us. <laughs> you make good joke, comrade. I do not like that sound. What's here? Locked. Control room. Russian. Привет.
Oh, this one's a bit tougher. What's up guys, Krellen here. Yes, I'm using my normal voice again. <laughs> but anyway, today I tried out Resident Evil Revelations 2. Okay, so what do I think about the game? Well, it is actually a very, very good game, just like all the other Resident Evils out there. I mean, I've heard reviews about this that were pretty mixed, but to me at least, it lives up to the Resident Evil name. Okay, you get to control Claire in this one and Barry's daughter. And I think if I remember correctly, you also get to control Barry somewhere along the way. So the graphics are really nice for a 2015 game. And the sound effects, the creep factor is definitely there. The game actually, you know, kind of surprised me a couple of moments there. But, you know, since I'm a horror game veteran, so I, w I didn't actually fall on for my seat or anything like that. But yeah, you want the game? Try it. It's actually a good starting point for the Resident Evil series. It's Resident Evil Revelations. Make sure you check it out. If you can get it for cheap, get it. And of course, since it's Halloween and all that, and it would not be the show which is called Two Guys, a Controller and a Game Store if we did not do giveaways. And this week, we're giving away Final Fantasy postcards. Yes, it's like really, really premium item right here. So all you need to do is follow and like Gamer Uncle and follow and like Who's Your Daddy Now Gaming. And in the comment section, just put the hashtag iGamer and stand a chance to win the Final Fantasy postcards right here. Look, they're all fancy and nice and all that. So do that. Like Gamer Uncle, like Who's Your Daddy Now Gaming, and show us some love.